The SureCheck HIV-1 and 2 test contains the following components. The SureCheck test device, a sterile safety lancet, a bandage, and either a disposable plastic stand or a disposable cardboard rack. Materials required but not included, a clock, a watch, or other timing device. Remove the SureCheck HIV-1 and 2 device from the foil pouch. Obtain a venous or fingertip blood sample according to your normal laboratory practices. If you're taking a sample from a fingertip, wipe away the first drop of blood after pricking the finger and sample from the second drop. Touch the tip of the SureCheck device to the drop of blood until the tip is filled with blood. If you're taking a sample from venous blood, serum or plasma, invert the SureCheck device and pipette 2.5 microliters of specimen to the sampler tip. Remove the buffer vial from the end of the SureCheck device and place in the rack or plastic stand. With the buffer vial in the rack or plastic stand, firmly press the tip of the SureCheck device through the buffer foil cover. Continue to firmly press the device to the bottom of the buffer vial until the device and the buffer vial snap together tightly. You'll feel or hear three snaps in the process. One, through the foil. Two, into the cap. And three, seat and seal. Important procedure note. When inserting the test device into the buffer cap, it's important that you push, not jab, the tip very hard through the foil cover and into the buffer cap until it completely snaps into place. Now, wait 15 minutes. Read results between 15 and 20 minutes. Do not read after 20 minutes. A pink-purple line should always appear in the control area, whether or not a line appears in the test area. If there is no distinct pink-purple line visible in the control area, then the test is invalid. Any lines that appear outside the control area or the test area is an invalid test. An invalid test cannot be interpreted, and it's recommended that the invalid test be repeated with a new device. One purple-pink line in the control area with no line in the test area indicates a non-reactive test result. A non-reactive test result means that HIV-1 and HIV-2 antibodies were not detected in the specimen. The test result is interpreted as negative for HIV-1 and HIV-2 antibodies. However, this does not exclude possible infection with HIV. Follow CDC or your individual country's guidelines to inform the test subject of the test result and its interpretation. Two pink-purple lines, one in the test area and one in the control area, indicate a reactive test result. The line in the test result may look different from the line in the control area. Intensities of the test and control lines may vary. Test result with visible lines in both test and control areas, regardless of intensity, is considered reactive. A reactive test result means that HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies have been detected in the specimen. The test result is interpreted as preliminary positive for HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies. Follow CDC or your individual country's guidelines to inform the test subject of the test results.